killing of Kiera Kiki Sheard and of course the son of J. Drew Sheard, Pastor J. Drew Sheard, or is it Bishop? Pastor J. Soon Drew Shear, soon to be Bishop, Bishop elect. Right. And of course, uh, the legendary Karen Clark Sheard. J. Drew, what's going on? I'm good, chilling out here in ATL, enjoying the, the, iffy wev- the, the iffy weather. You know, other than that, everything is cool. Well, you know, y'all brought some cold down here. It's cold this weekend. <laughs> brought it from the D. Now, you, I heard Kiki say that you are not only singing on this CD, but of course you produced and written some of the tracks. Um, how is it working with your sister and then getting your creative juices flowing and, and being creative with her? How is that? Well, that's that's great. It's, um, Kiera is crazy. I, I just, when we work together, I just be learning, you know, well, how did you come up with stuff like that? Like I, I be, like, you know, usually when everybody, you know, thinks studio, they think, the producer telling the artist what to do but like me and my sister i'd be on the other end like are you serious like going crazy because she's so talented and, and you know great with like backs and stuff and um you know it's it's a great feeling you know it's it's, it's a blessing cool 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 so when you go through your creative process and your writing what do you take into consideration do you take into consideration who you're writing for or do you more so take into consideration the message that you're trying to convey the message the message is the first thing that comes to mind when i'm writing uh definitely a gospel song you know um it's who I'm writing for that really doesn't matter. I want people to hear this song and I want this song to this song to, that I'm writing to change someone's life. You know, a person could be, you know, a, you know, ready to commit suicide or, you know, can be going through a lot. Like that's um on my album. I know we're going to talk about that, but my album was more so of a, a encouraging album. I was always talking about hang in there. My dad say that all the time in church, hang in there. And, you know, that's that's the message I'm trying to get out. So, you know, the probably, you know, I every song I write is probably the message is my biggest thing. Like I want somebody to hear it and I really want them to be ministered to from the song I'm writing. So now the sound that I'm hearing from you or that I've heard from you thus far is is it's a contemporary sound. However, I just feel like from what I'm getting from you, there's some versatility in there. I believe you could probably do some old school if you wanted oh, to. Oh, wow. I'm I'm one of the youngest old school loving dudes out here. Like, I'm only 18, and I listen to stuff that's way older than me. Okay. Like, and, you know, I man, I, I'm, I, I'm like the biggest fan of funk. I love synths. I'm like, like when I when I get my next check, you know, praise God. When I get my next check, I'm going. I got they got this old school store in Detroit where I just found. I went in there and lost my mind. They had synths from like '60s, the '80s. I was just going crazy. But yeah, like I, I do listen to a lot of old school, and you know, mix that with um, you know, some of the new school stuff. Like some of my favorite producers, you know, Timberland, Pharrell. Kanye, you know, um, you know, it's a lot of Ty Tribbett, like that's one of my favorite producers. Of course, my cousin Jay, you know, I got a million, you know, Jay Dilla, rest in peace to him. He's a, you know, a producer from Detroit. Um, but you know, all of them mixed together, I just mix them, put them together, you know, along with my little old school, you know, vibe, and just get the working, and you know, that's that's pretty much how I get down. So wow, so who would you say then, uh, looking at the gospel industry and some of the other industries, who would you say then are your most um, influential influences when it comes to your writing, when it comes to your creativity, when it comes to you as an artist? Because I heard you say your album. So when it comes to you as an artist, who would you say then um, are your influences? Well, I have influence in different genres of music, but in gospel, Todd Tribbett, that's like, he's like, he's that's like my biggest inspiration because you know not only do you know am i a a fan of ty but i'm more of his his nephew like we he texts me we talk all the time well we talk from time to time you know he's crazy busy but when he talks he's just so cool with me you know i'm just checking on my nephew make sure you good and that's like 
amazing to me. Like that really like makes my day. So I, I, I think that's a blessing to have a relationship with one of my inspirations, you know. So Ty Tribbett, that's like one of my biggest guys. And then, you know, Jay Moss. Oh my gosh, that's like one of my favorites. Um Ty J, those are like my two top gospel cats right there. And then, you know, you know, of course the fam. You know. Of course. So now talk to us about then your C D. Um give us a little bit about it, a little inside scoop from the artist. Okay. Well, you know, um it's called JDS Step Two. You know, I named it Step Two because uh my first album I did, um I was sixteen and I did it. I call it the step one. So the steps basically represents me moving up and getting closer, getting to my success, you know, getting, getting, so, you know, my next album call it step three, step four, step five, step, and so on, you know. Okay. So, you know, that's pretty much it. And on step two, I, it's a um, CCM. I went more, I wanted to do something different this time. I went to the CCM. I got that, those guitars, rock, the rock vibe, you know, okay. the rock Christian vibe. And it's, um, it's a uh, very inspirational it uh i have kiki on it um i have uh i have uh as far as artists i only got kiki and um yeah just kiki i'm trying to think but as far as music i have a lot of musicians like my favorite drummer spanky george mccurdy from philly he's playing on one of my songs and one a uh, great bass player tim you know they on it but you know the songs is talking like i told you before is real you know encouraging got a lot of songs like almost every song talks about you know just hanging in there like i i really related that that album to a lot of my personal situations you know i me growing up i had a lot of people you know boxing me in you know because of my the clarks and you know all that people was just hating on me and running their mouth about me so you know i just kind of you know said look i've been through this situation so i'm gonna tell you how i handled it and hopefully it, when, me telling you how i handled my situation when i was getting punched in the face and kicked on you know hopefully it ministers to you so that's pretty much how step two is it's just a big encouraging album so when you when you going through some situations and you feel that God is not listening to you or paying you no mind, put that in and it just shows you all. It just is going to really encourage you. So so where can they cop that? Where can they get it? iTunes. We sold out of hard copies. I only ordered 500 copies and we sold out, you know, thank God. But um, they are available on iTunes. You can just type in JDS, J. Drew Sheard, whatever, anything relating to my name, it, it'll pop up. So. That's what's up. Well, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Now, your sister is not just here promoting her CD, but she's now appearing in a, a feature film come next year. And uh, The Preacher's Kid, how relatable is that to you? Oh, man, that's that's like right up our alley, you know, because we Preacher's Kids. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely excited about Kiki. I was so happy. I was I was almost more excited as she was because um, I, I think I was more excited. Cause um you know I was like that's gonna really pull you out in a different world right. you know you going into the acting and stuff that's gonna that's gonna give you a whole nother crowd and then you won't once you get out there you won't be able to minister to those people and those people gonna want to be like you and you know we gonna be leading you know more young people to Christ so you know I thought that was great I, I'm I'm proud of her like I'm probably her biggest fan but you know um she's in college she goes she she does college she's uh she's over the choir at church so she got to do rehearsals and um shopping that's her thing but me i'm just somewhere playing basketball or in the studio if i'm not in the, i go to school it's my everyday schedule monday through sunday i go to school i go to the studio and then i go hoop that's it and and on of course the church days fridays uh i'm sorry yeah wednesday friday and sunday we go to church uh at night on Wednesdays and Friday and Sunday, of course, Sunday morning services. But other than that, you know, we 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 just just regular. Just Ain't regular. nothing. Just regular. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You've been watching in the know. With